Hi, and welcome to this section of the course where we're going to talk about word problems that involve subtraction of decimals, okay? So we've done uh, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division of whole numbers, and then we've done addition of decimals, and now we're going to do subtraction of decimals. And this section of the course is very similar to the, to the section on uh, subtraction of whole numbers. So the, the logic is going to be the same, the, the motions are going to be the same. The only difference between this section and the section on subtraction of whole numbers is going to be the numbers in these problems are going to have decimal points in them. So that's the only difference. So if you haven't watched the section on subtraction of decimals, go ahead and do that now. I'm sorry, subtraction of whole numbers. Go ahead and do that now, and then come back to the section, and this will be as easy as, as pi, and we'll get some practice with the math. So recalling from that section on uh, subtraction of whole numbers, remember that subtraction problems in general uh, pretty much need, need you to compare two numbers. That's what's going on here. You're usually asked to find what is the difference between this person's age and that person's age, or how much older is this person than that person? How much taller is this person than this person? How much longer is the table than a car? How much shorter is uh, a, a chipmunk from a polar bear. I mean things like that. So you're, you're usually asked to find how much taller, how much shorter, how much uh, longer, how much shorter, how much uh, older, how much younger, things like this. So anytime you have something that involves comparing two numbers like that, when you're trying to find out how much bigger or smaller or something like this, you're usually going to subtract those numbers. Okay. So let's go ahead and work some problems in this section and they're going to all involve decimals and we'll get some practice with that. The first problem says, yesterday at noon, the temperature was 78.3 degrees. Today at noon, the temperature is 67.1 degrees. How much higher was the temperature yesterday than today? So you see, this problem has all the elements we just talked about. Uh, you have a temperature yesterday given to you, 78.3, uh, and today the temperature is cooler at 67.1. Uh, and uh, you're, you're asked, how much higher? See, that's what I was saying. How much higher? How much lower? How much shorter? How much longer? This one is, how much higher was the temperature yesterday uh, than uh, today? Okay, so what we're doing is we're comparing these two numbers, and we need to subtract them to find the difference between them, and that's going to tell us how much higher the temperature was. Okay, so writing that down, uh, it was 78.3. Uh, degrees yesterday, and I'm just going to write that down as a note to myself because um, you know paper is cheap, and it's good to go ahead and remind yourself what you're uh, what you're talking about. And today is 67.1 uh, degrees. Okay, and these are both degrees. Now remember, in other parts of the class, I've always told you, when you add or subtract numbers together, you have to have the same units. So we have the same units. Degrees subtracted from degrees is going to give us degrees in the final answer here. Okay? So we want to subtract these things. We're working in this column first. 3 minus 1, I think you can convince yourself, is going to be 2. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. Now the nice thing about subtracting decimals, you notice when we wrote the problem, you always have to line up your two decimals on top of each other. You always have to do that. When you add them and when you subtract them, the two decimal points should be right on top of each other. And the nice thing about it is when you write your answer down, the decimal point just comes right on down. It just falls right on down through the bottom. So you don't really have to do any thinking on the decimal point. You just put the decimal point right where it sits. Okay? So let's move on to this column. 8 minus 7, I think you can all uh, convince yourself, is 1. 